I have been plotting my book after many brainstorming sessions, but unfortunately I reached a point where I just needed more ideas. This video is going to be more about me trying to come up with these ideas to fill in all those holes in my plot that I have, which it's a lot. If you're new here, hi, my name is Stephanie and I am writing a book for the very first time with absolutely no writing experience. I've been doing a lot of brainstorming in my head, especially over the last few weeks, and it's gotten me a lot of great ideas, but I want to try something a little different. As a new writer, I've been watching tons of YouTube videos about different writing techniques, plotting techniques, brainstorming techniques, story structure. And one thing I've seen over and over in many videos is people creating a Pinterest board for their book. I am a very visual learner and I tend to do better with visual things. And so I think making a Pinterest board for my book might be a different way of brainstorming, especially because I have a lot of plot holes. It might just ignite something in me that I haven't thought about before just by seeing a picture of something. And so what I'm going to do is create a Pinterest board and it's not necessarily going to be related to my book. It's just going to be inspiration. I'm going to put ideas in there that I find inspiring, beautiful. They are possibly ideas that could be potential. It's more about what speaks to me as opposed to, I think this is a good idea for my book. There have been suggestions in videos on what to do with that board, but I think what I'm going to do right now is just focus on making a Pinterest board and see where that board takes me. Anyway, I've got my computer here, and in case you're wondering from the last video, it is still working. Um, I'm really hoping that that was a fluke. I'm going to do it on my computer just because I think I'll be able to see a lot more pictures at once. And let's get Pinteresting. That was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed looking through all these pictures. There were definitely things that stood out to me and things I thought, hmm, that might be interesting. Like I said before, some of these may not even make it into the book, but it's a nice place to get a little bit of inspiration. I definitely need a lot more time to search through Pinterest because towards the end I started trying to narrow down on certain things like rooms in a castle, like a ball gown, just so I could trying to find inspiration from color or appearance. I've got a really good starting place. I definitely need more time to go through and find more Pinterest images. I might do that later tonight. I won't show it because that you've seen enough. And then the next step will be kind of taking that Pinterest board one step further. And that's going to be my next task. It is another day of brainstorming and it is several days after my last brainstorming session. I have been so busy running around doing things, social obligations, and I've just not had tons of time to work on my book. I will admit, I feel like a broken record that I didn't have time to work on my book. I say that a lot and it's frustrating to me because all I wanna do is work on this book. And so it's just been a struggle. I have had a little bit of time to build my Pinterest board, especially cause I have it on my phone. So if I'm sitting somewhere and I have like five minutes, I can scroll through some pictures and pin some more pictures for my board. I believe for now my board is complete and I'll show you that in just a little bit. I don't think it will ever be fully complete, but I think it's complete for the next task, which is what I'm going to do today. And what I'm going to do, is take my Pinterest board and all the pictures in it, and I'm going to stare at a picture for 
30 seconds to a minute, see if any stories or ideas come up and just record those in a sheet. And I think this will be a really good exercise because as I was going through and finding pictures, I found it really inspiring just to see all the pretty pictures and think of, oh, this would be really cool to include something like this in my book. It will help me in the brainstorming at least to come up with a lot of different stories. And then I can pick and choose from there which ones I want to include and which ones I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today and then that will be another brainstorming session wrapped up and I will do maybe a little more brainstorming in a different method later tonight. Uh, I wanna see what my results are from this activity first before I decide what to do next. It is again several more days later. Eventually I will get a better routine and be more consistent, but I'm still just trying to figure out how to balance work and YouTube and a book and life. Um, so I'll get there eventually. This is going to be my last little brainstorming session of this sprint. And what I'm going to do today, I, you may notice I'm sitting at my desk. Um, I call it a desk, it's a kitchen table. I'm sitting in my office area, and I know I've said before I don't like working in my office area on my book, um, but there is a reason I need this extra monitor here uh, to do this next little task. And what I'm gonna do is take the notes and the brainstorming from my Pinterest board that I created previously and put that on one screen. And then the other screen, I'm gonna have my rough plot that I created in previous video and I'm going to take all the ideas from that Pinterest board and see where I can fit it in the rough plot and see where it makes sense or if it might be just something to consider for a storyline. I'm pretty excited to do this actually because I did have a lot of great ideas when I was doing this brainstorming exercise. And even though I had a bunch of great ideas, once I got to the end of the pictures, I pretty much just closed my computer and I didn't really think about it much more. So it'll be fun to read through what I wrote and review and see what makes sense and maybe I could even combine some ideas.
I am done with this exercise. It really did not take very long, maybe like 15 minutes. I was able to fill in some plot holes, which was very exciting. There are still a few more plot holes left. I think this will be the last brainstorming session for a while. I spent many months recently, I think around three months, brainstorming for my book. It's time for me to move on to the next step. I mean, I could brainstorm forever if I wanted to. It's time to do a little more development in other areas of my book and get excited about other parts. And I know I won't be done brainstorming permanently. I will be brainstorming probably up until the day my book is finished. Um, but I think as far as dedicating huge chunks of my time towards brainstorming, such as weeks, days, whatever, uh, I think this is pretty much it. I have some ideas on what I want to work on next. I haven't quite decided, so I'll choose one and make a video about that next. <laughs>